Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Breath of Fire 4. When we last left off, we finally got access to the Fairy Colony. And like I said in the Warcraft 3 video, if you have not watched it, I know it's been a little while since I recorded, but uh, I've gotten most of that stuff hopefully taken care of. So we're going to, uh, at the very least, go back to what I was doing before, which is pretty much me scrambling to... Uh, get videos. Now, welcome to Windia. Of course, there's an inn right here. India is probably the largest city in the game. Yeah. Uh, there, well, I don't really count that as a city. So yeah, I'm going to say it's the largest city in the game. You can stay at the inn if you need to. I do not need to. Sell. So we can get a bastard sword, which I may end up getting. Wand of air, if you want that. We do want the mace. Let's see. Do we want the biter? Yes, we do want the biter. Rai is still good with the moon sword slash Gramasax. In fact, I'm, I think I'm going to switch him back to the two hit. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to switch back to that. Alright. No more fighting for me. Don't do that game. Now, if you come in here, you find someone who looks a little familiar. That's right. It's Momo. Sure! Momo is a master. She teaches you the drow's will. Drow's not very good. Momo is a master, not very good. I mean, she has no downsides, but, you know, she also really only raises your HP. Uh, so I really don't recommend actually uh, producing anyone under her. Now, you actually learn skills from Momo. And I don't think I qualify. I don't think so. <laughs> no, that that could never happen, Momo. No, what is this? Who are you, like Vicky? Right, here's a Manila merchant. I'm sure she'll be fine. Let's go in here. Just breaking up people's houses and talk to them. Will you say something different if Nina? I didn't think so. Can't check that. Can't check this. Hey, hey! Free apples!
Now, if you go into this large mansion here, I didn't mean to actually do that. I just remembered something. Did I pick up a toothpick earlier? I remember talking about the toothpicks, but I don't think I actually picked one up. No, I didn't. Right, well. Let's see. Now, if you go in this house, there is a rich fat kid in this room right here. Who apparently has a problem with eating with his hands. Now, if you talk to the butler here, he will trade utensils for arum. Uh, I'm going to tell him no. You can only do each trade one time. And the silver war silverwares are the spoon, which is bait. Uh, this guy right here lists them. Chopsticks is a sword for Sias. Spoons is bait. Forks are weapons for Urshans. Uh, yeah. Pretty straightforward. You get them in various places. Mostly enemy drops. No. Oh, okay, apparently he won't eat with his hands. Get some swallow eyes. Awesome. Fish heads, double awesome. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's talk to this. Heh. <laughs> Table manners for children. Diet hard three. Diet with a vengeance. Yeah, cheap guys. Oh well, I got a couple of uh, stat boosted items over that. So let's go ahead and allocate those. Let's see, fish heads to Nina. Swallow eyes. I give this to Nina too. Life shards. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, Nina. Nina just gets all the love. Of course she does. She's cute. And she has breasts. Fake anime breasts, but still. Okay, I'm gonna stop that train of thought. It's going somewhere creepy. Let's see. In her day, what does she look like now? Has boarded up windows. This looks like it does. Oh, he named the pigeon he, she. The child named the pigeon after Alina. That's cute. Yes, I have. Fairly friendly, I guess. It's kind of odd that nobody recognizes Nina. I mean, in Breath of Fire 3, there was that one guard in the front of the castle that recognized Nina. So, I don't know. 
you had to run away from him if you had Nina up front. But we want to go in here first because there is a treasure chest. Just damn it. Sorry about all the. I don't know why it's uh, doing that. I'll have to look into that. Unfortunately, my setup here, uh, I, I may have went over this before, is very, 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 very jerry-rigged. And uh, it's very fickle. And if I uh, mess with anything, the whole thing tends to collapse and I have to work it all over again. <sighs> Forgive me. Had kind of a rough weekend. Had to work this weekend. Didn't even get paid overtime. I'm like, oh my god. Why won't you pay overtime? Selfish. No one may pass without permission from the king. Not even you. Well, you know what? In Breath of Fire 2, that did not stop Mina from turning herself into a bird. I ain't afraid of no heights. Can't go anywhere here. So let's go back in the castle. Yay, we're home. All right, first, let's go down here. Nothing to report. It's a nice little fountain. Well, apparently the Empire feels that the war's not over, it was just a ceasefire. The war's still very much going on. Not gonna happen, dude. Well, I'd like to go down there. So you want to go down there and get that treasure. It's, uh, for the most part, unless you miss the one in Ludia, it's really hard to... Uh, not get all those treasure upgrades. As long as you talk to everybody, that is. We're back in the strategic strategery room. Strategery. Man, the king's eyes are huge! Well, it's a long story.
Yeah, we kind of caught that, didn't we? Straight to the point, Nina. 